Hello everyone, today I have an exciting haul to share with you. Um, well, it's exciting for me, hopefully it's exciting for you. <laughs> um, this is a new to me vendor. Um, I've seen so many people talking about this vendor and I've heard only good things, so I wanted to get in on this RTS and see what it was all about. So this haul is from Lured Apothecary. Um, and let me just show you, it's just, I think all I got were like, does she call them snappy bars? I forget. I forget what she calls them. I'll have to look, but it came in this box. It has an invoice right on top that says, thank you. And then I love these like Christmassy squiggles. I will save them for Christmas. So let me see what the invoice says. Um, there aren't prices on here, but yeah, I got all snappy bars. Um, her stuff, well, I haven't looked at it yet, but I feel like it's really reasonably priced. Um, I guess I'll see if I still think that once I get into this. Um, I don't know if there is a sample. I don't know if she usually does samples. I did join the Facebook group, so if you're not in there, you should get in there. Um, I do feel like she's pretty active and keeps people up to date about their orders and everything. Oh, it already looks so pretty. Here, I'll show you if I can. Look how pretty it looks in there. Okay, there are some samples, I believe. Let me pull these out. All right, I'm not sure where I want to sit that. I'm still getting used to recording back in this back room. Um, I guess it would be helpful if I had like another chair to sit stuff on. Okay, so the first sample here, oh, definitely not, not focused correctly. There we go, is a holiday chair. This is gingerbread, cinnamon donuts, and cinnamon bread pudding. I don't think this is one that I picked up. I'm not sure. I don't know, it might be. Let me look on my invoice because if it is, I'll just wait until we get to the snappy bar to smell it. What's it called? Holiday cheer. No, I don't see that one on here, so we will smell the sample. That's nice, I mostly get, I feel like I mostly get the gingerbread Yeah, I think I mostly get the gingerbread. There's a cute little, like, a holly leaf. And then, look at this one. <laughs> I've never seen this before. What is that? Is it like a, I don't know. I don't know what this is. I thought it was a Norwal, but then it has like antlers kind of. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, when I pull it out, I do get a little more cinnamon. I think I'm getting gingerbread and cinnamon bread pudding. That smells good. I can try that um, in my tea light warmer one day. Wax already. Okay, well actually, I'll sit it over here. Um, this next one, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I got this one in a snappy bar. So this is Christmas cookie battle. It's sugar cookies, cane sugar, buttercream, and a hint of maple. I'll smell that when we get to the snappy bar. And then I don't think I picked up this last one here. And this is sugar plum macaron. It's sugar plum macaron and cranberry. That sounds nice. Oh yeah, it was a normal. I think on the other one, the little horn broke off because there's one in here too yeah this smells nice i it does smell good but i do tend to stay away from like sugar plum scents most of the time because they do come off a little like medicinal to me like not like cough syrup but like um chewable like children's chewable tylenol like grape smell <laughs> i don't know yeah, that's kind of what this smells like to me. Um, see, it is a Norwal. It has a little horn. This one lost its fins, though, or its 
tail, whatever. Like, it smells good. I'll either melt this in my daughter's room or just try it in the tea light warmer one day, but yeah, I don't know why, but a lot of sugar plum scents just give me like a chewable children's medicine vibe, so I don't usually pick them up. Okay, I think she has scent notes on everything. I don't know if she has pour dates. Oh yeah, I do see pour dates, they're super small, but this first one here, it's so pretty is cozy this is sweater weather type and the pour date is oh my goodness so hard to read is it 11 9 i think it's 11 9 21 so i don't know how much like cure time these need or if they're ready to go oh yes it's so good <laughs> this is definitely the bath and body works type which is my favorite i love it so much Oh, it smells, it is like spot on. This is so good. Oh, I'm so excited. That smells amazing. And here's like a closer look at the snappy bar. So pretty, look at that shimmer. Oh my goodness, I love sweater weather so much. I'm so happy to find another vendor that has the Bath and Body Works type. Oh, it's so good. So, so good. I can never have enough sweater weather on hand, so I love that. And the next one, oh my goodness, these are so pretty. The next one is Christmas Vacation. This is, oh, I cannot read that. This is Spiced Buttercream Creamy Nutmeg and maple gingerbread cake poured 1111. Make a wish. Um, you can see, I, I love I love this aesthetic right here. It's so pretty. What was this? Spiced buttercream, creamy nutmeg, maple gingerbread cake. Oh yeah, that's nice. I definitely get that like spiced buttercream note. Mm, and the creamy nutmeg. That's really nice. And it's not like, look at that. So pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's not um, like the maple gingerbread cape. It's not cape, oh my goodness. Maple gingerbread cake. It's not overly maple. This definitely isn't too like mapley or sweet or syrupy to me. Oh, that's really nice. Okay, so far so good. Um, spiced buttercream, yeah. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, like I said, I don't know how long I should let these sit. Like maybe I'll just, I mean, sweater weather smells like it's good to go, but maybe I'll let some sit until at least December. I don't know, it's only a few days away. Um, this next one is Christmas breakfast. This is eggnog, pancakes, and maple. Poured 11.11. Again, this is so pretty. Um, you guys know me and the eggnog right now. Okay, I don't get too much eggnog. I feel like I'm getting more of the pancakes and maple. Yeah, it does smell really good though. It, it smells like real, like authentic pancakes and maple syrup and not like super heavy, sweet maple syrup. Yeah, I was hoping for more eggnog, but this still smells you know, it smells good. And maybe the eggnog will come out more um, when it warms or if I let it sit for a little bit longer. Yeah, I don't know, I can't tell. I don't think I'm getting like any eggnog from that, but it still smells good. This next one, this is the one we had a sample of. This is Christmas Cookie Battle. It's sugar cookies, cane sugar, buttercream, and a hint of maple. Looks like I got a lot of maple in here. 
Oh, that smells good. Um, it reminds me of, hold on, let me smell it again. I hear a cat meowing. I don't think it's my cat. No, he's right there. I think it's outside. Oh, this smells really good. That sugar cookie is um, kind of like a creamy vanilla sugar cookie. Here's what that one looks like. Again, super cute. This reminds me of the, was it called vanilla bean? The van I think it was vanilla bean lip smackers lip gloss <laughs> that I had in like fifth grade. I used to, I mean, I got that from like elementary school to high school. It was like my favorite. That's kind of what this smells like. Not like chapstick because that lip gloss didn't smell like chapstick. Yeah, very like creamy, vanilla, sugary. And I don't get much maple in there, so this is nice. I don't necessarily get like a cookie note. Um, just kind of like a sugary, creamy vanilla. Um, this next one is Whoville. This is sweet musk, vanilla frosting, allspice, maple sugar, and a hint of pine. I'm hoping the hint of pine is more than a <laughs> hint of pine. Even though it says a hint, um, I really want the pine to come out. Again with the maple. I, I feel like everything I got has maple except for sweater weather. Oh, this is nice. This smells like body care, um, which is weird because it's vanilla frosting, allspice, maple sugar. It smells really good, but it does smell like body care to me. That's really nice. And it's like this like lime green, not really um, shimmer in here but still really nice and pretty. I'm trying to determine exactly what I'm smelling here. I mean, I'm definitely getting that sweet musk because I'm getting body care vibes. Um, and, and the vanilla frosting. I do get the vanilla frosting. I don't know that I'm getting much allspice. Yeah, not really. Maybe, and, and like just a hint of pine. Yeah, maybe like a tiny hint of pine. When was this one poured? 11, 7. So I don't know. I feel like I guess a few weeks should be enough time, but I don't know. This smells good too. Okay, the more I smell it, the more I get the hint of pine. But I don't really get any spice from that at all. Um, so definitely the musk, the vanilla frosting, and a hint of pine. That's nice also. Not quite what I was expecting, but it's nice. And the next one is Snug by the Fire. This is marshmallow fireside, cinnamon clove, and vanilla. Sounded lovely to me. Okay, definitely getting like the cinnamon, clove, and vanilla. Clove is the strongest I'm getting. I don't know that I'm getting too much of the marshmallow fireside. This was poured 11.10. It does smell really good though. Here's what it looks like. Super cute. Okay, yeah, I think the Marshmallow Fireside, like the deeper I smell in this bag, the more it comes out. Yeah, I think that's gonna be really nice. That smells lovely. Just like a warm, cozy, barely smoky kind of scent. Oh, I do really like that. I, I think the name's perfect for that. So oh, I do like that one. How many did I get? Oops. 
like several more in here. Okay. Next one is Santa's Workshop. This is balsam, candy cane, vanilla, and spice. Poured 11, six. It's my mom's birthday. Um, so I'm hoping this has more of a tree note. Balsam, candy cane, vanilla, and spice. Okay, I am. I don't know what's happening. I feel like <laughs> I feel like I smell tea. I don't know. This one's super cute though. I love. I love the colors on this one. For some reason, I think how everything is mingling together, I'm getting like this tea note. Definitely getting the spice. I don't know what spice specifically it is. I feel like there's a clove in there. Yeah, I guess I am getting that balsam. I'm not getting much candy cane at all. But honestly, I just, I feel like the way it's all mixing together, it's giving me like the spiced tea kind of feel. Again, I like it. It's just not what I was expecting. But yeah, I think I'm going to like that on warm also. Next one. Jingle Bell Rock. This is sweet candy cane, peppermint fluff, and peppermint twist. Poured eleven eight. So hopefully in here we'll get we'll get the mint. <laughs> okay, I do get the mint in here. It's not like I don't know. With all these notes being mint, I thought it was gonna be like hit you in the face kind of peppermint especially with that peppermint twist it's definitely mint um it's just a little more subdued than i expected another pretty snappy bar it smells good it is like um you do get that like sweet candy cane I'm not sure what the peppermint fluff is, but I feel like I'm smelling that also, but I can't like explain what it smells like to me. I guess kind of like a peppermint marshmallow. Yeah, and then I do smell the peppermint twist. It's a little nose clearing. But I think I just expected it to be like super in your face peppermint. It smells really good. Like the more I smell it, it kind of smells like those little peppermint candies. Okay, yeah. The more I smell the actual wax, the stronger that peppermint gets. So I have high hopes for that one on warm. All of these smell really good so far. Some of them just aren't what I was expecting. But I still like them. I'm trying to move these back. So we have a little bit. I think I only have a couple left. Two, maybe. Two or three. Okay. Just two left. And the first one is Christmas Bake Off. This is Cranberry Relish Pie Crust and Tea and Cakes. Um, I was really interested to see what this Cranberry Relish is about. Mm, that smells yummy. Yeah, definitely cranberry, but it's it's kind of like a sweeter cranberry. All right, I'll show you this and smell the wax. Definitely tea and cakes, but you do get the other notes. Sometimes tea and cakes can really overpower a blend for me. You definitely get the tea and cakes, but you do get that cranberry note. And the pie crust. I feel like I am getting the pie crust here. 
and it's almost like a drier kind of pie crust scent. This smells good. I might try this one um, in my tea light today because this is like, this is kind of a Thanksgiving scent to me with the pie crust and the cranberry. Poured 11.6. So yeah, I think I might melt this one today. A little bit in my tea light warmer. Another really pretty snappy bar. Yeah, I might melt that in my tea light warmer and see how see how I feel about it on warm. And then the last one I have here, this was from the sale section. I think this was part of um, these are starting to fall off the table. I think this was part of oh my goodness. <laughs> Sorry, I don't want these to fall. I think this was part of the I don't know if it was like the Halloween release or if it was before then, I don't know, but this was in the discount section. Um, so I forget, I think it was like a dollar cheaper. Um, but this one is Sweet Pretzel Twist. It is, does that say caramel? I think it says caramel and soft, salty pretzel. Poured nine, seven, I think. It also looks like it has a line through. I don't know if you can see that. It looks like it has a line through the pour date, the nine seven part. I don't know, I was really excited for this though. I've seen people like rave about her pretzel scent. So I needed to try it for myself and look how cute it is. It looks like it has salt on it. So I'm hoping it's salty. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yeah, that is good. Oh, that's really good. And you do get the caramel, but it's also making it like buttery rather than like super sweet. Oh, that's so yummy and salty. Yeah, really like this. I'm excited to melt this one. Oh, I could just, I could just smell it all day. I love pretzel scents. I love like salty, savory bakery. So good. This is like a salty, buttery pretzel. Really like that. Um, yeah, so I'm happy with the order. A lot of things were different than I expected but you know that's gonna happen first of all I've never ordered from this vendor before so I didn't know like what any of her oils smell like um, and then sometimes you just paint a different picture of a scent in your head than what it's actually gonna smell like but I love this pretzel scent um, so I will be on the lookout for more pretzel scents from her I do like this one. I'm interested to see what this does on warm. I'm just going to go back through them quickly, mostly for myself, but, um, this one, I'm hoping that marshmallow fireside comes out more. See, now I'm smelling it. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm, maybe I should have let these sit out for a little bit. Maybe there was like some transfer going on because now this smells really good. <laughs> Like I'm definitely getting the marshmallow fireside in the snug by the fire now. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm much happier with that one than I was the first time around. Um, maybe I'm just gonna go through and smell these very quickly again. Yeah, now this one I'm definitely getting more mint and tree in Santa's workshop. Still getting like a slight spiced tea note, but definitely not as much as I was at first. Maybe, okay, so from now on, I'll know that I need to pull these out and let them sit for a few minutes before I start. Um, Jingle Bell Rock, this was the peppermint one. It is pepperminty, but there's something in there and I don't know what it is. I might have to see if these like like if the notes for peppermint fluff 
are on her website because I get the peppermints but then there's something else in there that I can't quite explain and it's not like I would think peppermint fluff would be like a peppermint marshmallow but that's not quite what I'm smelling there I don't think um Whoville this was the one that smelled like body care to me Okay, and it still kind of does, but I'm definitely getting more of that pine this time. That's so weird, guys. Yeah, I think definitely when you get these, I would let them sit like not cooped up in the box just for a few minutes, it seems. And they already, the scent has settled a little bit and I don't know, it's weird, but it, it's definitely making a difference going back through. Yeah, and this one, the Christmas cookie battle, I'm getting more of that sugar cookie note. That smells really good. This is so weird. I used to kind of go through when I got my orders, I would go through and smell them all. Um, and then do a video and smell them all again. So I, it would be like my second impressions. And... I did find that the second time they usually smelled a bit different. This one I'm still not getting much eggnog from though. I don't know. This one I can't really decipher. The Christmas breakfast. That one I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to get on a warmer to really see how I feel about it. And then Christmas vacation is the spiced buttercream creamy nutmeg maple gingerbread cake yeah this one smells different already <laughs> it smells better I'm definitely getting more like of that like spicy note I don't know yeah these all smell better the second time through um, I mean sweater weather this smelled like straight up sweater weather the first time so Oh, it's perfect. She has a perfect sweater weather. Um, yeah, so I am happy with it, though. It was weird that they changed so much just like in a few minutes. Um, so I would suggest letting them kind of air out for a few minutes before you get into them because it definitely made a difference. Um, yeah, super happy with it. I can't wait to see what these do on warm. Um, I know I've, I've, like I said, I've only heard good things. Um, I was saying that I used to go through and smell everything once before I did my video and it did make a difference, but I felt like it was more fun to open it with you guys. Um, but maybe at least with this vendor next time, I'll just get everything out and not smell anything and just let it sit for a few minutes before I start and that might make a difference. Um, yeah, but I love everything here. Definitely the sweater weather and her pretzel oil are new faves of mine, um, but everything else I can't wait to warm and see how they change and perform. Um, yeah, so let me know in the comments if you have tried this vendor and what you think of them. Um, it seems like they're doing pretty well so far. Um, definitely, like I said, join the Facebook group. I feel like they really keep you up to date and they post like the scent lists and everything over there. Um, I don't know if they post them on their site or not. I'm not sure. I was just kind of following it on Facebook, but yeah, let me know if you tried this vendor and what you think of them, or if you're interested in trying this vendor and which scents sounded good to you. Um, I might record one more video today if I have time um, but I don't know when these will go up I'm gonna try to get this one up today my empties is going up today also um, but I'm gonna try to get this one up today too but we'll see anyway thank you guys so much for watching I hope you're all doing well and I'll talk to you all later bye